Okay, this next award goes to um, Kristen Hurston. And Kristen notated that she's going to SIU Carbondale in the fall. And um, your in t intended major is the medical microbiology. Um, in terms of scholarships, um, you're, she's receiving the University Excellence Scholarship, which is worth 9500 a year. The SIU Housing Scholarship, which is worth $4,000. Uh, the St. Louis County Scholarship, which is worth $1,000. And um, listing five favorite memories is um, marching and playing your sophomore year here be the here be dragon show by Gary Gaxtetter and yeah I, I agree that show was one of my favorite um, and the music was was really cool I mean obviously you know I, I picked the music so I'm gonna definitely think it's pretty cool but what was even more amazing and more exciting about it is us playing that piece and then the first time that I asked Gary to, because I was slow to ask him, I was just concerned because I, I didn't call him and talk to him when we were thinking about doing the music. I just kind of did it. And uh, it wasn't until we were deep into the season, probably September-ish, late September, uh, right before the first marching contest. And I called him and said, hey, we did an arrangement of two of your pieces. And... Um, you know, we're rehearsing it, X, Y, Z date, you know, hopefully, you know, if you'd like to come out, I know I'm sorry I didn't ask you about it, but, you know, we just kind of did it and hopefully, you know, you like it. And then he, he came out and was just blown away, just loved it. Just, I remember on the field, he came up to me when, when you guys were, were working it, rehearsing it. And he goes, man, Tony, this is really exciting. And, um, that, that was kind of a, a real, um, impactful moment for me because I was really kind of scared. I was scared if he wouldn't have liked it, um, didn't like the setting, because there are some composers that don't really like you using their music in, in different contexts and then changing it around and, and readapting it for different groups. But in that case, he actually really, really liked it. Um, other memories you have is the Albuquerque trip. And yeah, I agree that that it, it's, it, you know, it's, it's a different trip than the ones that we've had even from New York and then obviously from Disney, but, um, you know, pretty organic, pretty earthy. Um, you know, for me, um, and part of that trip is going to that sky city, the Aquama sky city. Um, and especially the tour guide that we had this time, even compared to the tour that we did last time when we went, um, eight, nine years ago or so. Uh, this was really amazing, and, and I'm not don't remember if you were in my group or not, but Miss Brown uh, took her group down the uh, staircase, which is basically a dangerous cliffs. And um, so I, I don't know if you were in that group or not, but um, yeah, she definitely got a tongue lashing for me um, from taking you guys down that um, dangerous route. Um, and, and they've been doing that same route for thousands of years, but. Um, not on a band trip. Um, other things that you mentioned were memories of yours and good memories were marching band contest, um, bus rides um, to the marching band contests, and and um, you know and that's and that's funny because that's been a popular memory for for the folks and and um, you know I, I guess I, sometimes I lose perspective of what it's like being a, a youngster riding the school bus and riding the bus to to a contest before and afterwards and you know the the excitement of getting ready to perform and the excitement after you're done performing you're kind of tired and you're kind of in that little lull um you know i i forget what that feeling feels like so um the next memory is playing at mmea your sophomore year and yeah totally i i agree that one of my favorite memories of, of with you guys through this through this cycle of four years and and one that you know there, there's there's points along in your career because I've taught for so many years there's certain markers that I use to kind of help me remember things one of them is the marching band shows 
And then the years that we have performed at Tantera at MMEA have have been those markers that help me ground me and and give me uh, a timeline of of what we experience and and what we do in band. And definitely, I agree that's going to be one of the markers for me to to kind of gauge uh, the the timeline and when things happen through the through the so far the 27 years that I've been at Melville. Um, and then the last memory that you write is all the awkward conversations with me about you stalking me. And um, I'm going to hold on to that one because I'm going to, when I get into my thoughts of you here in a second, I'm going to going to talk about that. One. So trans uh, transitioning to little thoughts about you and, um, and I know this and I know there are other people in band that know this, that you have been stalking me um, in band and outside of band a few times. I've, I've spotted you um, at, at the pet store. Um, you, you tracked me down and um, you were peeking around the corners at me and Eva trying to buy um, stuff for our turtle. And you've been stalking me in the field. Every time I'm on the field, you always end up not being very far away. And, um, you know, and I just wanted you to know that I know that now at the same time, I have just been teasing you for two years. You have not actually been stalking me, but it's just kind of been one of our little weird things. And, um, you know, I, I, I feel like I know you well, you know, I know your brother, well, your brother coming through the program and, you know, you have a personality like him, um, but you know your personality is is different. It's it's more subtle. Your your brother's was a little more outgoing, a little more forward. But yours is just as quirky and as subtle. And you know I always like to kind of find little things that we just kind of go with with kids. And that was kind of our little thing. And it was kind of one of those things. I I don't know why that came about. I don't know how it came about. Um, but. Just kind of one of those little things that we've done for those for that period of time. And then you, you can ask yourself why as well. I just kind of like you. I like your personality. I think you're funny. I think you're quirky. I think um, just watching you interact, watching you work, watching you perform, it, you know, all those things, it's just kind of fun. It's just kind of funny. And, you know, at the same time, um, you know, I respect you. I, I respect the dedication that you've had over the four years, I respect um, your your work that you put into the program. I respect all those things, and and you know at the same time, I just kind of you know without being kind of hokey and cheesy, and you know it's just kind of an interaction, and um, and you went with it for for a long time. But I, I will have to admit, the time that I saw you at the at the pet store, that really cracked me up, and uh, I could really play into the whole you're stalking me bit um really well but i know it's a little weird i know it's it's um something just kind of different but you know it comes out from a place of 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 respect and love and you know really just you know wanting to interact with you so you've been a reliable band member you've been the example of the kind of kids that i want in band You've been the example of the kind of kids that that I'm proud to have in our program, and you know, with with that being said, you know, you're you're a quiet worker. You're not. Your brother was a little more boisterous, a little louder. Um, you you knew your brother was in the room, and you have that same kind of presence, um, but in a much more subtle, much more quiet fashion. And you know, that's the ultimate compliment I can give you. You know, when you're in a room. You know, people will notice you. People will, you make an impact on people just be, by the way you carry yourself and the presence that you, that you portray in that room. So, um, you know, it's been special for me having you and your brother come through the program. And, um, you know, as, as with your brother, he never disappointed um, his, his work and everything that he did into the program. And, and you've carried that through. And, um, you know, you guys are both are special kids. And, um, you know, I still see your brother time to time at games and 
coming up to rehearsal and stuff, and that's still special to me. And the beauty is he's still exactly the same. So hopefully in the next years, as you get older, I, you know, I can totally see at 30 years old somewhere, I'm going to see you in some capacity, and I'm going to point out that you're probably stalking me. Um, but hopefully we'll remember this. And, and hopefully at the same time, you'll remember your, your time in the band program because I will remember yours here. So thank you for everything you do. Thank you for all of your work. Thank you for everything. And um, um, Kristen, you're receiving the Musicianship Award. Congratulations. <laughs>